It only takes a few minutes to assemble the sensor or to perform any routine maintenance. The sensor kit includes a probe with a membrane cap, a one-year supply of electrolyte, and a single piece of blue abrasive paper. Certain precautionary measures must be taken. Before a membrane cap is ever removed, it is critical to slide the elastic seal away from the tiny vent hole. Failure to do so can result in permanent damage to the membrane. Also, do not touch the membrane surface, which is located on the tip of the cap, or the gray colored reference electrode. It is okay to rinse these surfaces to flush away any old electrolyte, and then use a paper towel to dry the gold tip of the working electrode. The assembly process is quite simple. Clean the working electrode by placing the blue abrasive paper flat on a paper towel and run the tip across the paper two or three times to clean the gold surface. Slowly fill the membrane cap to the edge with electrolyte gel, not allowing any air bubbles to form. Hold the probe body upright while inserting it slowly into the membrane cap and screw the cap onto the probe. Rinse off any excess electrolyte that escapes from the top of the cap and through the vent, and then dry the probe exterior. Now be certain the membrane cap has been hand tightened as far as it will go. Finally, slide the elastic seal into the slotted position over the vent hole, making sure that the seal is seated correctly and not twisted. For some earlier free chlorine probe models, an additional much smaller cap, referred to as a G-holder, was required and included in the kit. For these models, before putting on the membrane cap, the G-holder is filled with electrolyte, and then the electrode tip is inserted into the G-holder. The probe, with the G-holder on the tip, is then inserted into the electrolyte-filled membrane cap. It is recommended that the membrane cap and electrolyte be replaced every year. The Hydroact Analyzer provides maintenance reminders for when the electrolyte and the membrane cap need replacing.